for the visiting Rams. An early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet, and both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. With fall around the corner, football is back, America, and we're underway on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback, who grew up just outside of Cleveland on Lake Erie, Mitchell Trubisky. And one of the few knocks on him coming out of North Carolina was just actual game experience, just 13 starts in college. But he works so hard at making up for that lost time. He loves the game, crazy about the film room, and guys just naturally gravitate towards him. I think he's got a chance to be an excellent leader and player. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And incomplete to open things up. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. And he'll push forward for about four up to the 23. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. On third down, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right Right there. Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. <laughs> so a change of possession here on the punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and ten. Golf will lead the Rams up here, first and 10 at their own 26. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crack everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Now on second down, this is good. And yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. And he'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. 
but the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Third and long. It's gone. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Coleman now. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits, and these creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third down. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Coleman on the toss. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Second down, here's Trubisky. Dancing to his left. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. This one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 13. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And a nice run to get this up over the 20-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down. They'll set up the screen to Gurley. 
And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fours. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They've had it twice, they punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, Creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On second down, Trubisky. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Trubisky finding the former Eagle Burton for the Chicago first. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size, can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. On first down, Trubisky. And a hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll lead here to a third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Trubisky will throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Burton. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one. Wound up hitting him for a first down. Red, red, up. Hey. Now Trubisky on first down. Over the middle, the tight end Shaheen with it. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They'll toss it to Coleman. Spins away. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Kevin Coleman, 34 yards. And the Bears have taken the early lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, Yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock.